From above, WW1 trenches looked like long scars on the earth, but up close, they were organized systems built to keep soldiers alive under fire. Trenches were dug in zigzags, not straight lines. That way, a shell blast or enemy who broke in couldn't fire straight down the whole trench. The frontline trench faced the enemy, backed by support and reserve trenches behind it. Together, they formed layers of defense, not just one line. Inside the front trench, a raised fire step let soldiers peek over the parapet, watch no man's land, and be ready to fire without exposing their whole body. Trenches flooded easily, so wooden duckboards covered the floor and drainage ditches helped carry away water-fighting mud as much as the enemy. Carved into the trench walls were dugouts crowded shelters where soldiers could rest, write letters, or wait out bombardments below ground level. Long communication trenches connected the front line to the rear. Runners used them to carry messages and supplies without crossing open ground. Units rotated through front, support, and rest areas. Daily trench life meant guard duty, repairs, and constant vigilance rather than non-stop attacks. WW1 trenches were miserable, but their design zigzags, layers, dugouts, and drains made survival on a deadly front line just a little more possible. Want to see more hidden details of WW1? Join Tiny Titans History for more battles, inventions, and stories from the front.